Ladies and gentlemen, uh, salam alaikum and hello everyone. Today I'm so pleased uh, to have uh, Dr. Nashwa Abu Hassan Isa, Assistant Professor of Physics at Nilan University, President of Sudanese Women in Science (SWSO), Vice President of Organization for Women in Science in the Developing World (OWSI) for the Arab region. You are so welcome. How are you? Mr. Al Khair, thank you, class, for hosting me today. Yeah. And it is a great pleasure to be on the run tonight. Okay. I'm looking forward. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's it's great. Okay. One of the important issues uh, that uh, you know we passed by in the workshops that held uh, under supervision of uh, UNESCO Chair and ICESCO uh, for Women in uh, Technology and Science, University of Science and Technology, okay, uh, the, the important category of STEM, that uh, the STEM is uh, clubs of uh, uh, women or youth, right? Women youth? For uh, girls. Yeah. Uh, for so girls, so okay, yeah. clubs. Yeah. And one of the important issues that, you know, the enforcement of the relations between uh, girls in universities and research centers and high schools and uh, pre-education. Yes, we can discuss about this important role, mm. important issue at the beginning or aim. I think the STEM club is connection. one, one yeah. of the projects we are working together with, with UNESCO chair now yeah. as Organization for Women in Science. And we are very interested in how to promote women in science and how to enforce their roles in development. As we know, like we are scientists, we are researchers, we teach at the university, we supervise research, but we don't take that research out. Okay. Okay, so it is uh, one of, uh, uh, it is great aim, the discussion of scientific uh, research uh, or topics, uh, technology, engineering, and math, and connect these uh, developmental targets, continuous developmental targets together. Yes, because yeah. like, Everybody will tell you, okay, women study math and physics and science. But yeah. when you go to university level, you will find, actually, you'll find more of them at the bachelor level. But as you go up to yes. assistant professor, associate professor, full professor, you will find very few women. And our target, how to bring women to decision-making process. Okay. So the important thing is encouragement for the girls to get involved into science, engineering, math, yes. and technology. Yes. True. right field this pushing up in these uh, aims that's why unesco pay its attention and make such cooperation with different stakeholders yes. you know mm -hmm. uh, to uh, support these stem clubs right mm -hmm. correct yeah. tell me and how. We, are, we are part of the project we had a project okay. before this one it was a, a saga project the project was funded by cedar the international development cooperation agency yeah. and implemented by the chair and we were consultant at that project as organization. So the aim of the project to study, to like assessment study, to see where is where where are women in STEM in Sudan. It's not only in Sudan; it's a global issue related to all the countries where there are few women in science, and all the world now focusing on how can increase the number. Not only the number, the effectiveness, the productivity of women in research, and how to link that to industry and to development. Okay, also uh, this STEM uh, has uh, effective role like organizing forums, workshop, and scientific journeys. Yes. Yeah. It, this club, like the specific target of the club yeah. is for both, for like university level, for the staff members, and for high, like high school students, even primary school students who are interested in how to encourage them to to study STEM field, which is science, technology, engineering, mathematics, not how to study, how to continue. Even after the study, they finish their university, how to get to the workforce. Okay. So it's, 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 it's very, very big project, and there are many actors. Yes. And how they can get involved? Yeah. I think the idea about the club for high school. By networking, right? Networking, networking is one of the same, yeah. but also about hands on things okay. for like la now at school you don't find this practical experimental field of study so by linking with the university they can get exposed to more practical more experimental session 
they can get exposed to to like the real science, not only the theoretical okay. part of it. And uh, the major role is uh, to encourage innovation. Mm -hmm. And innovation is a sense of creation. And you have something inside, and then you promote it into a scientific methodology. And right? you end up with different technologies, yes. development, more jobs, more opportunities. So it's, it's a big project, actually. OK. And then all these targets, uh, you have important things to shed light on. Uh, the mechanism, how we can implement these targets and aims into the ground. Uh, for example, by uh, organizing forums in universities, centers, and schools. Yes, mm -hmm. university level, it will be more about research, about different, like, connect different researchers and target different area of research, which is part of our interest now. Like, if you consider water, what is a big issue in Sudan? Research is what is very important. If you can bring different f disciplines in water research, then the clubs will, will, will benefit. For high school, we can provide more like orientation about science, provide more hands-on, encourage, just give them the bright side about science. Like all the this, all this children hate math now. They'll yeah. tell you, yeah, even my son, he will tell me, I hate math. So math is really not, it's good, mm. but the way we teach math is not so the mechanism yes, is important. It's true, yes. yes, and how, how to let the kid even uh, love this Enjoy. Uh, may be complicated yeah. uh -huh. uh, subject. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, other means by uh, uh, conferences, especially video conferences with regional and international, international. universities. Yes. So exchange knowledge, right? It's very important. Yes. yes. Yeah. How you can think in your mind this can be more benefit? You see, for inter I think yeah. regional and international, it will also give you, mm. we are way behind in science. Yes. I have to say it. In Sudan, we, have way, we are way behind. So this type of links will advance our knowledge, yes. will advance our skills, will give us opportunity to collaborate with different yeah. researchers from different countries. So it's, it's a really good idea. Yeah. Okay. And how about, uh, you know, collective uh, research? I have also to say we don't do collective research. Uh, why? This you, don't agree with. <laughs> <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> you don't agree with this, okay? No, no, don't I, I, no I agree yeah. we do have to do collective, but now like we are a not collective doing it mind. Yet. Yes, we have to work on that. We have to establish this type of effort. Uh, we have okay. to start it. So it's kind of exchanging like uh, knowledge between other, like a teamwork. It's, you it's did combined, like a round table yes. and uh, making a discussion together and then make some hints from everybody and then you compose a comprehensive, complete idea, right? Yes. Okay, other things that's important, uh, you know, held uh, training sessions for teachers in uh, science, technology, math, and engineering. That's important training. It is, it yeah. is, yeah. It's, okay. it's, 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 it's increase of the level of, of knowledge okay. and skills at the same time. And it, I see it's very necessary to have this type of training for teachers. All right. Yeah. And you see how this training can be uh, organized or coordinating, right? I think it should be coordinated through the Ministry of Higher Education and okay. Ministry of uh, even Basic Education, because okay. they are in charge of In charge teacher. of this yes. issues. So it's, it should be in cooperation with. Oh, OK. And then uh, even like using uh, the library of the chair itself, UNESCO chair, uh, the papers one and the electronic. And so libraries is important. It, and references should be available Even for the ladies, right? It's, I think it is, it is more than important because it will, it will expose you to the new science. Okay. So you need to know where we stand and then you, 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 st you add. So you cannot start science in your own. You have to add to what mm. other states. So it, it is very important to have updated library. And if the UNESCO chair took the initiative to establish one, it will be very good. And you don't see exactly there is a competition between the library, uh, Paper Swan, and online resources. So yeah. now people focusing online, right? Yeah, but when you publish online, you have to pay money for that. And it's a lot oh, of yeah, money. Oh, yes, and yeah. hosting. And very yes, costly. websites. Yes. It's a cost. Of mm -hmm. it. Okay. And then issuing uh, a cultural magazine uh, reflecting the activities of the girls in universities and high schools. This is for more encouragement, right? Yes. And Push them up for sharing the information, okay. yeah. for get more people to get involved, mm -hmm. especially the private sector. We are not the private sector is not involved in the research process. So if we could get the private sector 
Okay. So there is some targeting areas uh, like uh, Niall University, especially Education College mm -hmm. and University uh, of Sudan for Science and Technology, Education uh, College, Section of Science, uh, Wadi Nil University, uh, University of Jazeera, University of Red Sea. This is like a targeting. Okay. It's not the targeting, it's a pilot project. So it's, it's pilot. it will start, yes. Okay. In five yes. universities, but it should be extended to all the universities. Okay, so it's a, as a beginning. Mm -hmm. And then supporting, supporting areas, UNESCO office and, and NATCOM and universities, students' yes. universities. Okay. It's a huge one. It is. Okay, there is a beneficial, okay, for mm -hmm. a group, uh, like uh, small uh, girls or researchers. Students. Yes, girls, yes. universities and specialized centers mm -hmm. and high schools and basic schools and... Uh, university staff members will also benefit yes, from this. Yes, and yeah. education before schools, mm -hmm. early education. Okay. Uh, how the steps can be? I can tell you like example for uh, visual visits uh, mm. for universities. We had a workshop. Mm was yesterday yes. and the workshop like discuss in detail the strategies, the action plan about the project mm. and the steps, the first step will be how to structure the club inside the universities mm. and schools, so that will be the first. But the first action plan will start with how to, to introduce a STEM, idea of STEM, it's still new in Sudan and everywhere because nobody thought before, before women there is a gap in women in science, like women in science. There is there is gender issues everywhere about women, but okay. in science it's, it's really new. So we need to also like get everybody on board and Involved. yes, and okay. advertise the idea. Yeah, the so that will be issues, the beginning. Uh, Victor Nashua, uh, workshop of a strategic plan, and then the action plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, with attendance of uh, university. Uh, delegation of representatives. We had the workshop yesterday. Okay. And it was really good. Show, like it was very good because by the end of the workshop we had at least the, the big picture, okay. and now we have to fill in the gap. So it's okay. Maybe after this, uh, there is some uh, expecting results like uh, activating the scientific movement between girls. We hope so. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hopefully. Uh, yes. And then uh, this is important when it's digging into the society for asking for change in universities and oriented uh, the use into positive stream uh, uh, toward a technology and science and engineering and math. We not hope, we will work hard for this. Yeah, you work yeah. hard for this. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. it should be done. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, continue with associations, uh, scientific uh, forums internationally and regionally. Very important. Yes. Point. Very important. Yeah. Yes. You see, you can you can invite some scientists to come. To come. Yes. And, and we can some send workshop. some. Yes. To mm -hmm. to go outside. It's it's really good to expose young girls to different environments. Yeah. So it's it's very vital for the project to have exchange programs between. Okay. And then you work on the quality hard. of the scientific research itself. Very what hard. about quality? It's very hard. Yeah. You see, Why? quality is directly linked to the infrastructure of your lab laboratories. And I have to say, it's really the infrastructure of our laboratories is also, it's not great. But we have also to work on that. We have to develop very good infrastructure to, to have very good research. And not that only, the skills of the researchers, yeah. of how to write, how proposal writing, publication writing, communication skills, this is the type of skill we will also put an effort to work on during these clubs. Okay, so uh, the stakeholders, uh, SAGA, and you can yes. have some highlights about SAGA? Yes, SAGA is yeah. a project, and I s the result of the project is really, it was very nice. We, okay. we had very good time during SAGA project. The project was, the aim of the project is to evaluate women in science in Sudan, to see like, is that there is a gap between men and women. So the project was funded by CEDA and implemented by UNESCO. And the idea of the project to see where is where are the women in science. And we look at different levels. We look at the policies. If there is policies related to women in science to enforce presence of women. Yeah. And we also look at the indicators 
by numbers, like we look at the numbers of female scientists are holding master degree, and the one are holding like doctoral degree, and then we look at the fund, who takes the fund, and we can we can we can tell that the gap is very huge. There okay. is a gap. There is a really big gap in science. All right. Uh, SIDA. Yes, the Swedish International Development Cooperation Agency. Okay. And it's very great supporter to our organization because all the fund for the fellowship is coming from SIDA. Okay. SIDA, and it is all the Swedish organization. It is uh, role on funds in Sudan. Yes, there is yeah. organization for women in science for the developing world, and it's uh, is an international organization based in Italy. And last year we launched the Sudan National Chapter. And the organization aims to promote women in science and also to enforce their role in development. The main thing about the organization uh, provide fund for PhD studies. And recently they start a new fund. It's, prov it's given by the Canadian. And the fund is about how to establish your own laboratory in your home country. And the fund reached to 50,000 USD in two years. And you can buy equipment with that fund. You can even uh, hire technician to work in your lab. You can use some of the fund to travel outside and conduct some research. You can use some of the fund even to find a babysitter for your children because they they understand some of the obstacles we face as women. We have children and we cannot find enough time to stay in the lab. So the, the fund is very flexible, and you can find more information on. WSD.net about the organization and the fund. Okay. Uh, what's about uh, UN Women? Uh, UN Women, I think, is a partner. Is a is, is UN is a is a UN organization and they support women projects and is a partner in this project and okay. girls club. And then uh, CIDA. Uh, see the see this is not yet on board, but I think after we get everything ready, Down we can the approach. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, your organization, uh, OWSD, okay, it's abbreviated for what? For Organization for Women in yes. Science for the Developing World. Uh, yeah, and it has a relation with Sudanese Women in Science uh, Organization? Yes, yeah, Sudanese Women in Science is okay. a local organization we established in 2013. Yeah. And the idea about the organization, we feel like as women, we are scientists, right? We conduct research, we teach physics, chemistry, biology, but we don't have a role in our community. So we, we thought about how we can bring our science to community, how we can use that science to develop, to look at issues related to our environment, to our, uh, to ourselves. One of the issues we consider like water, water is a very big problem and the quality of the water is, 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 is very poor and not, not everybody can afford to buy water. So if we can find solution in water treatment, that will benefit everybody. We also thought about how we can use the science for developing different areas. And we did one project on greenhouses. Okay. And that project was implemented in Abdurman, Salha area. So we look at 20, we started with 20 families. And the project was funded by Dal, Dal Group. And they provided us with all the needed things for the project, for uh, like for the the seeds and the communication materials and the agricultural tools. So we went there and we used uh, our 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 college, who they study agriculture. They taught them how to plant uh, vegetables and how to make their own fertilizer and how to defeat insects. In, in very like simple ways. And after six months, everybody in that area, now they are growing their vegetables. And they stopped buying vegetables from the, from the market. And even like they said, okay, now we can eat, we don't have problem eating, but we have to make money. So, so they are considered to invest, yes. yes they they uh, go into so this is the type investment. Of, yes, this is the type of project yeah, we consider. It's like encouragement, a small project mm -hmm. encouragement for uh, people, for, right? Yes, for okay. women. Okay, women especially. Mm -hmm. So, uh, o, uh, OWSD is the role and mission? Uh, the yeah. mission of the organization. The mission is how to promote women. Like okay. By providing PhD fellowships, they allow women to have higher qualification in science. And by the time they come back to home, they can 
contribute to the science and to the communities. And also by establishing laboratories within the developing countries, they can also promote science and technology. All right. And so is the target? Women. Yeah. Uh, yes, women in science. <laughs> women in science. <laughs> women in science. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So pushing, pushing them into uh, studying more science, right? Yes. And using, you know, or uh, or uh, and running live with uh, science methodology. Through yes. Through science. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, then uh, you have uh, connection between UNESCO chair for women. Yes. There's some cooperation. I think we Tenerans. have very very good connection. We yeah. started the first like we, the first project we started was Saga, and it went very well. The result was good. The cooperation was nice. The coordination was perfect, and the chair is running by Professor Shafa, and she's very very like capable scientist, and she's very good woman, and she's a very good leader. And now we are extending this collaboration to the new project. Yeah. Yes, STEM clubs for girls. And I hope we'll continue working with them. All right. So there is some ethics that UNESCO emphasis on the gender use, STEM, and Sudan indicated in UNESCO. Some ethics, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, working into um, more integrity and developing uh, women and uh, encouragement for getting through into science. Yes. Yeah. You see from the meeting yesterday, we met with different universities from different states from Sudan. Okay. And one amazing thing I heard in some of these states, girls cannot, they can go to school, but their situation will not allow them to go to school. Okay. So it's, it's, for us, it's very, it's very different because here in Khartoum state, we know everybody go to school, no, all the girls, all the boys, so there is no difference. But in some areas, there is really issues about girls going to school. So it's, it's, it's needed, yeah. for them it's needed to have this type of clubs. More acknowledgement or affording schools or? It's, it's maybe the culture, some of, in some of the areas, the culture of the families. So it's yes, acknowledgement they don't and yes, consider their education is very important. Okay, so uh, basically uh, Sudan University for Science and Technology and UNESCO Chair for Women in Sciences and Technology uh, are doing their best into uh, pushing uh, women into science and doing an active uh, chair, which is an active chair focus on activities that support women in the sciences and technology sector, uh, prioritizing women scientists and researchers, you as a researchers. We see how, uh, how this cooperation, uh, it helps you a lot to do more, more uh, scientific researches and doing more development. I think the, the cooperation is very needed now. Like okay. You see the lack of infrastructure and equipment. Yes. It, it, it holds us on conducting very good quality research. So by this type of cooperation, we can really work together, make use of, of the different equipment existing in different universities. So we, okay. can't, we can get somewhere. OK. And you see, uh, what's the outcome of uh, that workshop that held? and cooperation between you are one of uh, the stakeholders and the chair of uh, women mm -hmm. in, uh, in university, women, uh, uh, chair of women in the University of Sudan Technology, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, the chair is hosted by Sudan University. It's hosted. It's hosted yeah. because the it's chair is it's university. Uh, it's always hosted by university. So it's, yes. Uh, yes, the UNESCO chair for women is hosted by Sudan University. So we see to, to, uh, to what extent that uh, the, this care can push women into uh, technology? I think that, I think that there is really, uh, they just is, yeah. is have great potentials. Like what? Like connections. Yes. Ability to attract funds, yeah. ability to attract different stakeholders. Yes. So it's, I think the the has the potential to Right. to build this type of project. Okay, and you see, you see uh, the future of uh, the STEM clubs it, itself. How do you see it in your eyes? I see it very bright. Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, uh, that's uh, very optimistic. Yes, it is. Okay. It is. Even maybe there is sometimes faces by uh, lack of funds? I think the fund will come. If you have very good project, everybody will come and fund your project. Initiatives have? Yes, okay. if you have very good initiative and you start it very well. All right. The fund will, will come along. And, and what's about your uh, fruitful projects of uh, OWSD? 
One of the projects we had last, it was last month, 2nd of October, we started the, the OWSD now is celebrating 25th years. Okay. And within these 25th years, the, the organization funded 300 PhD students. Yeah. And they completed their study. And out of these 300, 42 are Sudanese. Okay. So we celebrate. We celebrated the 25th it year. That's great. Yes, and the opening event was hosted by the Swedish Embassy, okay. and it was a very nice event. And the following, we had three workshops, was also hosted by that group. Okay. And after we had like a university campaign, we went through universities and we reached 19 university, and we just discuss about us, about STEM, about women in science, about different opportunities they can. Okay. Women can use that. It was, it was I, I good can, for I us. I can ask, uh, okay, what's about your future plans? As organization? Yes, and you have some projects for... We have, okay, we have, here. we have exciting projects. Okay, yes. such as? One of the projects now we are considering the quality of the research is very important. Mm. So now we are trying to make like a huge fundraising to uh, improve laboratories like we will take different universities and we focus on one field in each university so by the time we finish the lab and everything that the lab will be like a central lab and it will be open for all the students PhD students women and men because we consider men it's also important for science we don't want to take over but we want to share okay <laughs> yeah so as a thing about those labs we are also considering to open the labs for different Arab region. As a voice of the Arab region, I have also to make plans for women, especially from Yemen, from Syria, from... Uh, the affected area. Yeah, the affected area of from Iraq, yes. And what? So the lab will be open for, for wide, for wide range of women. Okay. Yes. So, Dr. Nashwa, at the end, uh, what, what you can say for women in Sudan, uh, boosting them into uh, getting into the science field and the mass, and technology proving themselves, uh, you know, to go side by side with men. We have, I think, I, I see very, very good future. We have very, we have rich history of women okay. uh, who study science, even in difficult times than now. And we have, we, we have us right. <laughs> and okay. we hope tomorrow will be even better. Of course. Mm -hmm. So at the end, uh, you have something to say? Uh, mm -hmm. I would like thank you. I would like really to thank you, class, for hosting us and okay, you for the it. nice talk we had. And okay. I hope to see you again. All right. Yes, okay. Here. <laughs> serious, <laughs> serious will be will be for you and yeah, other other, other <laughs> women. It's yeah, okay. So. That's fine. So at the end, uh, thank you for Dr. Neshwa Abu Hassan Naisa, Assistant Professor of uh, Physics in Nilan University, President of Sydney's Women in Science (SWSO) and Vice President of Organization of OS, uh, WSD for Arab Region. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having you on, on the run. And then, uh, dears, uh, follow us and have a good time.